Hi folks, welcome to another Chief Steamer video. We've had a lot of requests to, to do a video uh, on cleaning an engine. Now, I'm not a big proponent of using steam on an engine. I'm not a big proponent of cleaning engines in the first place because it's a little bit dangerous. Being uh, an old school detailer, before I had access to steamers, the only way to clean an engine was with a power washer or a garden hose. And cars have been pretty computerized for a long time now. Not something I really preferred to do, and if I did an engine for somebody, I wanted to make sure I got paid for it. It wasn't part of a normal detail. But if you have to do an engine, we understand that there's a lot of computerized stuff under the hood now that you don't want to get wet. So steaming, using a steam cleaner on the engine is, is definitely going to be safer. But let's qualify it in a couple of different ways. It's certainly not going to be faster. We can't steam clean an engine, especially on a slightly older car that's shown a little bit of wear and tear and think we're just going to blast this with steam and it's magically going to come clean and you're going to spend two or three minutes on it. You're going to spend a little bit more than two or three minutes on it. But it can be done. And if you're getting the money for it and you're careful and you're not going to damage any of the sensitive electrical components under the hood. So we, we want to do this the same as the way we've taken interior. You want to do this in sections. Again, because steam is not a pressure washer, we're not just gonna blast everything on this engine and expect it to come clean, it can't happen. We're not just gonna use steam, we're not gonna use just our nozzle and expect to blow the dirt off. We're gonna do a combination of a horsehair brush, a little bit of uh, optimum uh, power clean as our degreaser, and we're, you're gonna go through a couple of towels because the steam is not really a rinsing type of product. So again, we're not using steam and rinsing the dirt off the car. And another qualifier, if you're trying to take care of engine leaks, especially old, old cars, or if you're buying a steamer to do the undercarriage and you have an oil pan leak or you have an intake leak or a head gasket leak, and there's a lot of built up grime and grease, you're going to have a, you're going to have a lot of work with a steamer. It's just not the way to do it. But if you can't have the runoff on the ground from the oil runoff, if you can't have the dirt runoff on the ground, if you have a newer engine with a lot of black plastic on the top and you just wanna uh, make it spruce it up, make it look nice, then yeah, steam's definitely the way to go. So we're using the 100 machine here. So I have a 100 machine, we're gonna use that. Now you'll have better luck if you have a 125 machine with the injection as you have more pressure and you have the chemical injection. You'll have a little less luck if you have a steamer that's a little bit below the 100 machine. So. We're going, to, we're going to do this in sections, so off the bat, I'm going to start with the, um, the cover here. We're just going to spray a little bit of cleaner on here. Not a lot of cleaner, and there's really no electrical components, so I don't really have to worry about that. We're just going to steam. But I want to use my brush at the same time. So I know, I know we're pulling the dirt up. There's a little bit of a puddle right there. We'll continue on the intake manifold. Now, if we can't get in there, we can't get into these cracks and crevices with the brush, this is where we can just use the steam and kind of blow it out. Now there's our alternator. Now that's kind of corroded aluminum, so we're not really gonna pay attention too much to the alternator. There's a wire connector there for the battery. There's a wire connector there. We don't wanna get in there. My, what I'm focusing on is the, is the black plastic. I'm gonna go back to the brush. Now give a quick wipe down. Now I, use, I was on the steam for a considerable amount of time. I'm not looking at pressure. Again, the way I like to see you guys use the steamers is don't fall in love 
with what the pressure gauge is reading. I know I have enough steam to use. So there's our intake manifold. There's our valve cover cover. It's fairly clean. Now, probably not as clean as if you use the pressure washer. Now we're gonna do the overflow tank. We're gonna do the fan cover here. Now you can dress this as well. So if this needs to be dressed, you can spray your dressing on there and wipe it down and get even a better look. So here I'm gonna spray a little bit of cleaner. And again, it's not a lot of cleaner either. Give it a quick wipe down. Now, this isn't going to be perfect. We're not getting every nook and cranny. Now, again, we could pull this off. I could pull the brush off. I could get down in here. I'm doing this quick for demonstration purposes, so I'm not doing this to actually detail the car. But hopefully you get the idea of what it can do. Now, we're taking considerably longer to do this than if I just blew this off with a pressure washer. If I blew this off with a pressure washer, it would have been done in two or three minutes. Let's go over to the battery and clean the battery. Now, just the cleaner alone is releasing the dirt. To clean the air cleaner. I want to watch the, um, it's probably a mass airflow valve right there. Go back to the brush. off and again a quick reminder as the steam is slowing down we don't want to come out at palm first that's the way you're gonna burn yourself we go like this shimmy the brush off trim some of this out down. Watch your fingers as you're doing this. There's a lot of sharp metal under an engine. Okay, we're, we're making good work of this. It's not very, very fast, but it's, it's turning out to be effective. There's our brake fluid reservoir. If I can't get the brush in there. Give it a quick wipe down. Now, where you're gonna have problems is if you have a lot of leaves stuffed in here in the cow area. We just don't have enough pressure and enough volume to blow any kind of heavy leaves out. We could try it here. This car doesn't have a lot. Again, watch your fingers. This is where you can burn yourself. Mm -hmm. 
you need a little bit of cleaner, spray the cleaner on first. But we'll get there. So the thing is, is that if you're charging the appropriate amount of money to clean an engine with steam, and you dedicate 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do an engine, and you're charging appropriately, we can get the engine clean with steam only. And we're not making a mess on the ground. We're not releasing a lot of grease. There's going to be no water runoff. So it's going to be a, a safe and effective way of doing it. But it's not going to be quicker. But it can be done. So depending on your steamer of choice, depending on your cleaner of choice, depending on how long you're willing to take on the engine, and of course how dirty the engine is, is going to dictate how clean the engine comes out and how long it takes you. But steam certainly is an opportunity to give the customer a little bit more under the hood if you choose to do so.